Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I was going to show you guys how you can add a slide into your 808. You hear that a lot nowadays in uh, trap and hip hop beats. Um, and the best way to explain that is, uh, you know, how the 808 basically slides up and down in pitch. In the last two tutorials, uh, what we discussed was how to make trap melodies as well as how to make trap drums. And I'm using this template that I created from those two tutorials um, for this tutorial. Let's listen to the melody and the drums that we already created and then we'll go from there. Alright, it's just a very simple beat, but uh, you know, it's just for the sake of this tutorial. Let's go ahead and add a new software instrument. And in that software instrument, we're going to go ahead and select the EXS24 sampler in stereo mode. Now we're going to select the 808 that we're going to use for this tutorial. And um, I've actually placed a download link for you guys uh, for that in the description of this video. So you can download that same 808 that I'm using. All right. So I've called it SF. And uh, uh, the, the only real reason I have called it SF uh, was because I was in a hurry and I wanted to save the instrument. And um, I just typed SF on the keyboard so no real reason why I uh, have that it's just some of you asked me why did you call it SF and <laughs> that was why all right so now that we have the 808 in there uh, what we're what we're gonna do next is um, EQ it and uh, I'm also going to provide you guys with the uh, the EQ preset uh, that I basically created for this particular 808 sound uh, as you can see here I brought some of that low range up and uh, cut most of the uh, the high range out. All right. And the next thing I like to do with my 808s is add a little bit of crunch. Uh, so the way to do that is uh, by adding the distortion uh, two, and you could just select it like that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my preset. It's called CJ8082, and I'm also gonna provide you guys uh, with that preset in a download link in the description of this video. All right. So you guys should definitely have basically everything uh, you need in order to replicate what I'm doing here today. All right, now that we've had um, all that set, I'm gonna exit out of these here. And, uh, oh, what I was gonna mention is, when you download that 808, the way to uh, to add it is uh, basically going into your edit button here, okay? And then dragging that Kid Urban, this is the, the 808 that I'm using for this tutorial, it's called Kid Urban 808-1. Um, and then just dragging it from your samples, right? which you could find in your media browser. Let's say I have my uh, uh, drum kits under my G drive and I'll go to my drum kits and I'll, I'll find it and locate it here. And then I drag the 808 directly into that. All right, so once you download the 808, I'm sure it'll be just in your downloads folder and you could browse to that from there and just uh, drag it into uh, the EXS24 sampler. Uh, the next thing you wanna do is once you've dragged it in there is save it. So you're gonna go ahead and save as and then, you know, name it whatever you want. Uh, in my case, again, I named it SF. Okay. All right, so uh, since we covered that, um, a lot of you are gonna want, want to know, how do I get this edit button? You're not gonna see this edit button here, right? And um, I'm actually gonna put a link uh, in the description of this video that uh, is, is a short article that explains how you can turn this on. You basically wanna turn on your advanced tools in Logic Pro X, okay? That's all I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna go into detail. You can look it up yourself, it's pretty easy to do. Okay, all right, so now that we've uh, set all that up and I've explained how you can import that uh, 808 sound that I'm gonna give you guys for download, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, play on our MIDI keyboard a bit. Okay, I'm just checking the levels, so I'm gonna let the beat play and then play the 808 on top of it and try to find the key of it first, okay? Okay, now that I've found the key, uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, record the 808. I like turning on my uh, countdown and my metronome so I can stay in time. And uh, we'll hit record and record this 808. pretty dope part so let's go ahead and double click on that let's bring this up so that we could see the MIDI notes that we've uh, just recorded I'm gonna select the area by just clicking on it hitting command a on my keyboard 
and then hitting Q to quantize, okay? Uh, in this section here, I am uh, I have it on one eighth note, all right? So you can do triplets and stuff like that, uh, but we're not gonna get into that. If you have questions on how to do that, just go ahead and uh, place a comment in the comment section, all right? And I'll be sure to answer that. Um, next thing you wanna do is make sure that all your 808 sounds are as loud as possible. So you're gonna go ahead and drag those up, okay? I have the 808 itself um, set at this volume level here, so you can take a look at that, all right? Um, you don't want your 808 to distort, so don't put it up like at, you know, plus six decibels or anything like that. Have it around uh, zero decibels. Let's listen to that uh, section. I'm just going to go ahead and loop that off and see what it sounds like. Okay, now I can already tell that uh, it is distorting here. We have it going up to 0.5, so um, I don't want it to clip, so what I'm going to do here and, and the reason it's clipping is actually because I uh, added that distortion. And the distortion definitely adds volume to that uh, 808 sound. So I'm going to just bring the volume down here a bit. And let's see what that sounds like. That's pretty good. I think we can go a tad lower than that. that sounds a little bit cleaner. So the next thing that we want to do is add the slide. And the way to do that is by bringing up the EXS24 sampler, okay? And then um, actually using the glide over here in this section and bringing this up, let's say to 88 milliseconds, okay? Now this is a pretty short glide. You can always make it longer by just dragging it up or making it shorter by dragging it down. We'll also get into the pitcher section um, after explaining the glide. Uh, so that I can show you how you can pitch it up and down. Okay, so let's uh, listen to it with the glide on. So you were able to hear that in the shorter sections here, the uh, 808 was gliding upwards, okay? Let's listen to that one more time. That sounds pretty dope. You can also have it actually uh, glide from uh, from down to up. And the way to do that is by dragging this upper part, the upper half, all the way up like that. Okay, you can actually make that um, glide longer so that the longer sections of the 808 will glide. Sounds pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, bring this down now and see what that does. That sounds pretty dope too. I hope I was able to help you guys figure out how you can add a slide to your 808 in Logic Pro X. Again, I'm gonna be providing you with uh, the 808 sound, uh, the preset for the EQ, as well as the preset for the distortion. And uh, if you have any questions, you know what to do, put it in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. My name is CJ Beats. I'm out for now. Peace.